After a less than stellar start from both teams, Trevor's potato fritter with shrimp earns him a six. Thank you. With Heather's surf and turf potato pancake following suit. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three. Thank you, Thank Chef. You. All right, Heather. All right. Chris, let's go, please. Uh, so we have is a lobster pie. Mm. So rich. The potato is definitely the hero there. Uh, Chris, I was worried that you weren't going to have enough lobster flavor in here. It's just enough lobster. I think it's the best thing you've cooked so far in this competition. Wow. Man, I'm going to give you a five. For me, it's a four plus one. Five. Thank you, Chef. That's what I'm talking about, youngin'. Good for you, Coming off of you and put it on the chopping block two times in a row. He needed that more than anybody else. Ariel. I have a Yukon and sweet potato palms Anna. Flavors on point, seasoning, incredible. Look, I have goosebumps. Yep. That's how good this dish is. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a five. Thank you very much, chefs. With Ariel unable to match Chris's perfect score, the men now hold a two-point lead. And Motto is looking to widen the gap. Take on a shepherd's pie, but this would be more like the private shepherd to the king. That's not a thing that exists, by the way. Uh, I mean, to me, it's, it's almost un inedible because it's so rare. It's tough for me to, to chew it. I'm going to give it a one. I'm giving it a one. Thank you. After Motto's royal fail, the blue team trails by only four points, giving the challenge queen, Mia, a chance to take the lead with her Peruvian potato dish. A cold potato dish tasting that good, uh, exceptional. Yeah, Mia, I mean, I hate to contradict Gordon. Um, and I can't. This is a delicious dish. It is worthy of being on a menu right now in a restaurant. I'm going to give you a five. Yes. Because it's just so delicious, it has Thank to be a five. It's outstanding. Five. Thank you, Congrats. Chef. Great job. I got a 10 on my dish. With only two rounds to go in the judging, Atlanta native Scott Lee. A four. Four. Thank you, Chef. Impresses his fellow Georgian chef, while another Atlanta native, Gizzy. I'm going to have to go with a one here. Can't seem to make a connection. What the fuck? Is this getting worse and worse? I'm going to give it a two. And worse. She gets a three out of 10. And she wanted to put my dish back. We're still in it. It's the final round. And with the blue team leading the red team by the narrowest of margins, it's anyone's game. So potato, immediately, I think gnocchi, Italian heritage, Italian cuisine. Um, I mean, I think texturally, it, it's, it's a win. For me, it's hearty, delicious. Rustic gnocchi catapulted into the Premier League of uh, you, items on the menu. Brett, I'm going to give this one a five. Thank you, Chef. Yes. Yeah, For me, it's a five. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, Brett. Amazing. Straight up, fucking gnocchi, 10 out of 10, you dig? Right, the final dish. Row, please, let's go. Going last is the worst. For me, potatoes always scream steak, so I went with the mm. classic pairing, but I really wanted the gratin to be the hero. Hopefully, I can be the hero. I would love to win this challenge for Blue. It's tough because we've had a really great gratin earlier. Yeah. I'm on the fence. I like that there's multiple potatoes in the gratin. I'm gonna give it a four. Thank you, Chef. It's packed with flavor. It's definitely a five. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, we're tied. Uh, right, we're gonna go to the best dish overall. Chef Ramsay and Chef Blaze will now decide between the chefs who earned perfect scores on their dishes. Mia, Chris, or Brett's potato dish. Chef and I agree. Please say Mia, please say Mia. That the most outstanding dish of the day. We have the guy out of the house today. Trevor has not been out to get him out and stretch his fucking giraffe legs. That's all I care about. I just want the red team to win. That's it. Belongs to Chris. Congratulations. What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like my fucking soul is sitting right next to me. I feel like, like I'm looking at myself to the left and just being like, what the fuck? Like I just got ripped out of my body. Now, because there's seven of them and six of the guys, we knocked out a dish. Can I? Sure. Let's go, please. Okay. I feel that she deserves to have you taste her dish. Oh. I have a purple mashed potato, some scallop crispy prosciutto, and zucchini. Canade. It might have served your team to have this dish on the roster. Chef, what would you have given it? 
And a four, for sure. Yeah, Thank I you. agree. That was an eight out of 10, that dish. Thank you. Good job, Kanae. Wow, that would have won it for you guys. Who cares? I don't have time to think about that.